very clear to my supervisors that, and this is where I put my neck out on the line, and I, that I would absolutely refuse to enforce anything that had anything to do with the SAFE Act. And if it was a true message of necessity, why, why did none of it take effect until six months later? You know, if I'm not mistaken, there was a, there was a period, period of time that, that went by before any of it took effect. I've been involved in, in numerous situations where I was fighting with uh, individuals who were armed, a uh, few people I almost had to take their lives. And to this day, just like the sheriff uh, spoke about his deputies, I, I still see no good in, in the SAFE Act. It, none of what has been put, you know, made into law now would have stopped and prevented what happened in, in my dealings with these criminals. Either you're a good person doing the right thing, or you're bad and you're doing the wrong thing. No matter what weapon of choice you have in your hand, you know, if you're if you're a bad person with bad intentions, you're you're going to do something bad. And now, if we as a police are afforded that that you know ability and opportunity and, and those tools to to protect ourselves and other people, why aren't you all? You know, why why can I have 15 rounds in my magazine and you can't? I, I, there's a huge hypocrisy there.